Adolescence and Mental Health. I lived in the Casas del Rio dorms at UNM for majority of the 2022 and 2023 school year before I moved five minutes away from North Campus to Sunset Terrace. Mental health is prominent in my community. It is common in the dorms and neighborhood. My name is Peyton Myers, and I personally deal with ADHD, chronic depression, insomnia, and anxiety. Early affected in my community by mental health are the adolescents. Majority of the dorms house all of the adolescents on campus, and the neighborhood where I live has many college students who are in nursing, medicine, law, and pharmacy. Social determinants linked to mental health involve the conditions in which people are born, grow, work, live, and age. They are further impacted by problems related to family environment, social environment, problems related to other psychological, personal, and environmental circumstances, along with educational problems. In nursing, cultural competence allows patients to feel comfortable with their provider, and this leads to them continuing to seek out care. It is important for you as a patient to feel safe confiding in your provider or nurse. As a healthcare provider, you should keep your personal biases out of your care and should respect all patients with what they are going through. There are three promotion strategies and interventions which can be implemented in my community, which I believe will work to address mental health. These include school-based interventions. This involves utilizing the school to provide resources for those struggling and promoting them in the classroom. The second intervention is the utilization of digital platforms. Most neighborhoods and communities have a social media page where they post information or news or resources. Resources should be posted for mental health on these social media platforms. And last, individual family-based interventions. This can involve therapy or speaking with your healthcare provider to gain information, to learn skills, and how to cope.